Hi, my name is Travis and it's a pleasure to join you again for another class. I hope you have fun. Um, have a block handy, they're always useful during our practice. And let's begin by extending into child's pose. Big toes touch, knees open out wide. Sit the hips back towards the heels and then walk the hands out in front of you. And perhaps place your block under your forehead and let the forehead rest down on the block. Arms are long here. Avoid letting the upper arms around the forearms and the wrists lower down. Keep them active by coming up onto the finger pads, letting the palms lift and creating activity through the shoulders, triceps, the lats and the upper back. If you haven't already, perhaps close down your eyes and take the awareness inwards. The world is still functioning outside of the room or the space where you're practicing. So let it be out there. Focus more on the universe within you, the vibrancy and the vitality of the systems that flow to create the life force. And the esoteric nature of our practice, the channels in our body are the nadis. The winds are the vayus. The rhythm and the flow of the body in areas of excess or deficiency is the natural process. And at moments when there's areas that feel a little resistant, Remember, there are areas that feel excited and ready to flow. Let's encourage them to harmonize, to yoke and unite, and to balance in our bodies. Staying for another moment. If you're using a prop underneath your forehead or perhaps on behind your hips, let's remove that now. Slide the block up and out of the way, and we'll take our hands over to the left, maybe all the way off your mat, and settle the right hip or buttock back towards the heel, and extend along the right side of your arm, your right shoulder, the right torso, you know, feel into the rib cage and the lovely stretch along the big, powerful muscles across your back. And then come back through your center and take it over to the opposite side. And then come back through your center into a child's pose that shifts up to tabletop. So all fours, shoulders over wrists and hips over knees. Align the legs parallel to one another through the shins and the tops of the feet. Ground down there, press down through the hands, but recruit through the shoulders, draw the belly button in. Cow the spine by tilting the tailbone, looking up and opening the throat, heart forward. Inhale, breath there, and then with the exhale, dome the back into an arch, press away from the earth and cat your spine, chin to chest. Fluidly move into cow, allowing the pelvic bowl to be the beginning of the cushion. Expressing the heart forward, opening the throat, chin to chest into our cat, and letting this feel really organic, supernatural. In fact, you've got a few more moments here to find some movement now that feels really wonderful in your body. I call this pose, these poses, sexy cat. There's no need to look at the screen or at each other. Explore the shape within your body. Notice areas that might feel a little sticky, resistant. Maybe areas that feel super engaged and excited. Allowing those 
those areas to balance. Change the orientation of your hands, get funky in the elbows and the wrists. Maybe back in your tabletop position, fingers spread nice and wide. Let's warm up the fingers and the wrists by lifting the thumb and then lifting the palm, coming forward under four fingers of each hand. Hinge to your first row of knuckles, lift and lower the palms for five, four, three, two, and one. Palms down, thumbs down, sway from left to right across your upper back and shoulders. Meet me back in a neutral tabletop. Thread the needle, right hand to sky, inhale. Sweep it in and under to the left, right ear, right shoulder on the mat, and exhale breath. Walk your left hand forward to the top of your mat, come up onto your finger pads again. Elongate the left arm. Soften the right side of your face down to the earth. Look to the left. Return the left hand back in front of your face. Press down through the left hand. Inhale, right hand to sky, reach up, look up. Lower right hand down, flow through the left side. Inhale, lift, reach right. Exhale, sweep, hover and hold. Looking to the right, left ear, left shoulder on the mat. Walk the right hand forward, elongate through right arm. Left side of the face is soft and squishy against the mat. Right hand back in front of your face, ground down there, sweep left hand to sky, in. And then lower left hand down, exhale breath, cow and cat. And puppy pose, walk the hands forward, keep the hips over the knees, lowering down to forearms forward. And Tucking the toes behind you and leveraging a little bit of force off the toes and then shifting some weight into the shoulders and hammocking through the armpits. Feel the big stretch across the upper back, the traps and all that area that gets a little sticky and tight. And this is a gesture of the heart softening towards the earth. From here, lift the head, look forward, and come forward onto the belly, and a sphinx pose. Forearms down, fingers wide, press down through the tops of your feet, draw the belly button in, and let the heart guide you forward. Lower the forehead and the chest down, hands under the shoulders, press back into tabletop, and then set up a downward facing dog. Tuck the toes, lift the hips to sky. Feel the palms spread wide and the fingers the same. Find a neutral uh, spot in the wrists and let the arms feel long and strong, recruiting through the shoulders, broadening across the upper back and lifting the hips to sky. Feel the stretch down the backs of the legs, whether the heels make contact with the earth or whether you have to bend the knees and lift the heels quite high. Yogi's choice here. Slowly walk forward to the top of the mat, tiptoe forward, step forward. Halfway lift upon arrival, hands on shins, inhale. And then a deep fold, exhale, breath into a rag doll, hold opposite elbows. Press the fronts of your thighs to the back of the room, let the elbows feel heavy, dangle through the upper arms, soften through the shoulders. Stretch down the back of your legs. Let go of the elbows. Dangle the fingertips to the earth. Inhale, rise up to mountain. Arms stay limp and beside the body. Chin stays close to chest. And I'd like you to unroll now as you stand at attention at the top of your mat. Arms beside the body. Work from the ground up. Spread the feet wide. Ground through four corners. Recruit all the muscles around the bones in the legs. A neutral pelvis, ribs and belly contained, collarbones wide, chin drawn slightly towards the chest, crown of head lifted. Whether you've got your eyes open or whether they're looking for uh, closed, hold here for three. 
the two. And then bring the big toes to touch, bring the hands to heart space, chin to chest. And if it's a nice spot here to set an intention and to connect with Ujjayi breath. It's a textural oceanic breath that feels rhythmic. It's through the nostrils and it allows us to focus our awareness on our breath. For the next few moments, it's your space. Upward salute on your next inhale, sweep the hands down, up, look and reach, rise to the sky. Exhale, have a lovely flow as we fold to the earth. Halfway lift on the inhale and then step back to our high plank, exhale breath, where I'll get you to hold the plank. Long and strong in the legs, the heels are over the balls of the feet, shoulders over the wrists and we press away from the earth. Belly button drawn in and long through the back of your neck. It's going to be a three count hold. Two. And one. Lower the knees, cross the ankles behind your heels to buttocks. Tricep push ups. Shift weight forward, look forward, lower halfway down. Exhale. Press back up, inhale, lower halfway down. Exhale. We've got five more. Four, three, two, one, press back up, lower tops of feet, chest and chin slithers you forward to cobra, inhale breath, holding for three, belly button in, tops of feet press down, kneecaps engaged, last one, back to tabletop, downward facing dog, hips to sky. Right leg lift, inhale, three leg dog. Heel to butt, knee to nose, step right foot to right thumb. Lower the left knee down, untuck the left toes, sweep the hands up overhead, look up, reach up, palms touch. Lower the hands down on the inside of the right foot. Lean forward, left hand earth, right hand to right out of inner thigh. Rotate to the right. Look forward, plant the hands around the front foot, step the back foot forward and fold at the top of the mat. Halfway lift, inhale and lower exhale breath. Sweep the hands up to the sky, inhale and then bring the hands through heart center, exhale breath. I'd like you to practice crisscrossing your feet. So on this round, step the right foot over the left so that the pinky toe edges of the feet come to touch and just hold here. So that's a crisscross of your feet where the pinky toe edges of the feet come to touch. Nice. Uncross the legs so they're back to normal orientation. Inhale up to sky and exhale back to earth. Halfway lift. Inhale. High plank. Exhale. Breath. Round one. Knees, chest and chin is your exhale. Slither forward to cobra. Inhale and press back to downward facing dog. Exhale. Breath. Left leg lift, inhale, heel to butt, knee to nose, step left foot, left thumb, lower the right knee down, untuck right toes, sweep the hands up, look up, palms touch, heart center, exhale, right hand earth, left hand left inner thigh, rotate to the left. Look forward, step the right foot forward and fold at the top of the mat. Up, put to the sky, inhale through the heart center, exhale, breath. And let's crisscross the left foot over the right. So there's the crisscross. Maybe this side feels a little awkward. Even spread of weight across the four corners of both feet. Squeeze the inner thighs. Uncross the feet. Sweep the hands to sky, inhale, lower through heart center and fold, exhale, half lift, inhale, plant the hands, step back to high plank. Option here is knees, chest, chin or high plank to low plank, so you've lowered halfway down, shift forward under the tops of your feet, press away from the earth, upward facing dog, roll over the toes, downward facing dog. 
Right leg lift, inhale. Yawn the hip open, exhale breath. Right heel to left buttock. Bit of creative, playful shapes here with the right leg. Right leg to sky, three leg dog, inhale. Right foot to right pinky finger. So step it wide. Rotate the back foot so it's parallel to the short edge of your mat and it's pointing to the left. And then walk your hands off your mat to the left. So lunge dog. Sweep the head down, look underneath your thighs, between the pelvis, and ground your front heel. Notice how the front foot points forward, the back foot points to the left. Walk the hands back to the inside of your front foot, pivot onto the ball of the back foot, lower the back knee down, untuck your back toes, left hand earth, Right hand right out of tight. So another deep stretch here, which could turn into something where you're reaching back and looking back behind you, or possibly even bending the back knee and reaching for the foot behind you. And then uh, wherever you're at here, we'll come back to face forward, shuffle the right foot to center, and turn this into half split. So front leg's long and it slides forward, curling the toes towards your face. Lifting the chest and looking forward, holding for three. I like to think about that right thigh bone drawing back into the hip socket. Two and one. Plant the front foot. Tuck the back toes, the pyramid pose. So step in a little closer with the back foot. Rotate it slightly to the left. Left hand earth, right thumb into the right hip crease and press it back. And as you fold over your front thigh, take both hands down and frame your front foot. Hold here, three, two, and one. Lunge into your front knee and around to the left for a wide leg fold. So shuffle feet wide, run them parallel with short edge of mat. Hands under face, halfway lift, inhale, and then dive deep here, belly button in, chin to chest, and fold. Choices with the hands could be around the ankles, behind the back, up to the sky. Interlacing fingers behind the neck and building a little traction for the weight of the head. Yogi's choice, hands could be under the face. Three, two, and one. Halfway lift, big breath, inhale, and then rotate your left foot at the back of the mat, 45 degrees away from you. Bring your hands onto your back thigh and pulse the knee to big toe alignment. So we're just warming up our back knee joint. Three, two, and one. Windmill the hands, frame the front foot at the top of the mat. Step forward and fold forward. Absolute inhale. Earth with your exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. Plant the hands, step back to high plank, vinyasa here. Low plank, up dog, inhale. And downward facing dog, exhale breath. Let's do that on the other side. So lift the left leg, yawn the hip open, creative movements in left hip joint, lots of space to play freedom, aeration and hydration in that lovely joint. Left leg to sky, inhale, heel to butt, and then left foot, left pinky finger, right toes rotate to the right, hands walk off our mat to the right, lunge dog. By the sounds of things, quite a powerful electrical storm is outside. Maybe you could have just heard that clap of thunder. It's quite a decent, humid day here in the change of seasons. Doesn't surprise me that there is a little bit of thunderstorm activity. Walk the hands back to the front of the mat. Rotate onto the ball of the back foot. Lower right knee, untuck right toes. And we take our lizard lunge to the left. Left hand to left outer thigh. There's that sense of the pelvic bowl feeling heavy here. And there's the rotation. There's the reach back, look back. There is the bend of the back knee, catching your foot, heel to butt. And then as you release that foot, shuffle the front foot to center. So that's your left foot. And you take your hips back in space. That's 
elongates that front leg. And then perhaps there's this little slide of the leg down the mat, you know, drawing the left thigh bone into the hip socket, walking the hands away from you. Come onto that front foot and step into our pyramid. So widen the stance with that back foot. Point it to the right. Left thumb hooks into the left hip crease and you press it back and then fold over the front thigh. lunge into your front knee and then rotate around to the right into our wide leg fold shuffle the feet wide halfway lift inhale and then deep fold exhale breath Halfway lift, inhale, right foot rotates to the right, hands on the right thigh, pulsing knee to big toe alignment into that back knee. A little warm up of that joint. And then we'll windmill the hands, frame the front foot, step forward, halfway lift, inhale, and a deep fold, exhale, breath up to sky, inhale. And then through the heart center, exhale, breath, chair pose. Sweep the hands up to the sky. Sit down into your seat, barely button in. Holding for three. There's this lightning bolt in your body. Recruitment of the buttock muscles, the grounding of the heel, and the sweep of the arms overhead. Last breath. Fold, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. Plant the hands, step back. Vinyasa, high plank, low plank. Up dog, downward facing dog, exhale breath. All right, so let's add that crisscross now in. So right leg sky, inhale, yawn the hip, and if flip dog unfolds, take it, reach forward. Lower right hand down, right leg to sky, inhale, and step the right foot forward to the middle of the mat. And then follow it by the left foot, pinky toe edge to touch. So the crisscross happens there. Halfway lift, inhale, and then fold, exhale, breath. Inhale, up to sky. Now with your exhale, bring the hands through heart center and a little sit down there with those crisscross legs. Elbows wide, belly button in, collarbones wide, palms to touch. Really spread the fingers wide here too. Then up to the sky, inhale. And fold, exhale, breath. Halfway lift, inhale. So right foot uncrosses, steps back. High plank, normal orientation of feet as the left foot steps back. Low plank. Up dog and downward facing dog. Exhale, breath. Let's do that on the left. Inhale, lift the left. Yawn the hip. Flip the dog. Lift, reach, rise. Lower left hand, left leg to sky. Inhale. Left foot steps forward, followed by right, but it's pinky toe edges touch. Half lift in, fold, exhale. Sky inhale, palms to touch through heart center, and a little sit down. Three. Two. And absolute. Earth, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale, left foot back, right foot back, high plank, low plank, inhale, up dog, and then exhale, roll over toes, down dog. Lift the heels, bend the knees, look forward, and lightly hop forward. Sit down into our seat, chair pose, hold here. Squeeze inner thighs, reach the hands to the sky, and harvest the energy between your palms. Lower to the earth with the hands, exhale. Half lift, inhale, plant hands and hop or step back, high plank, 
low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. This time, lift your right leg to sky. Yawn the hip open and flip your dog. Reach forwards. Lower right hand, right leg to sky. Right knee to right elbow. Inhale, lift. Right knee to left elbow through to fallen star. Sweep the left hand to sky. Inhale. Now we're going to crisscross the feet at the back of the mat. So lower your left hand down. Slide the right foot to the back of the mat. Crisscross it to the left foot. There is your crisscross. Now sweep the left foot out from behind. Step it forward to your right thumb. Follow the right foot to your left pinky toe edge. There's your crisscross. Halfway lift, inhale, fold, exhale. Sky, inhale, heart center, sit, seat, down, exhale, breath, hold, three. So there's a lot going on there, but there's crisscross. We've done it a fair bit now. Up to sky, inhale, return to earth, exhale, breath. Halfway lift, inhale. Left foot back, right foot back, high plank, low plank, inhale, up dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Good job. All right. If you need to pause and replay that and go over it again, have a go again. Otherwise, just keep going. Left leg to sky. You're on the hip. Flip the dog. Reach forward. Lower left hand, left leg to sky. Inhale. Left knee, left elbow. Bring it forward. Inhale, lift. Through the right elbow and then shoot the foot through for fallen star. Reach the right hand to sky. So that's the crisscross. Lower your right hand down. Slide the left foot to the back of your mat and find pinky toe edges touching. Right foot forward to the left thumb. Left foot forward to the right thumb. There's your crisscross. Half lift in. Fold, exhale. Up to sky. Inhale. Heart center, sit down into the seat. Exhale, breath. Holding here. Three, two, one. Absolute inhale to the earth. Exhale, breath. Half lift. Inhale. Plant the hand. So right foot uncrosses, steps back. High plank. With the left foot. Low plank. Just round it and thus. Inhale. Adho Mukhashvanasana. Exhale, breath. Lift the heels. Bend the knees. Hop. Forward, chair, sit down into our seat, palms touch, elbows wide, sitting a little deeper now. Three, two, absolute stand up, lift up, rise up, earth, exhale, breath, half on the inhale, your vinyasa, meet you in down dog. Right leg lift, inhale. Right knee, right elbow, hold, exhale, breath. Point your right toes back. Inhale, lift right leg to the sky. Through the left elbow, fall and start. Sweep the left hand to the sky. Now hold here. No more crisscross. We're going to sit the buttocks down. The left hand reaches out for the left ankle, bends the left knee, seated tree. Left foot inside your right upper thigh. Square chest to right big toe. Reach hands up on an inhale. Roll down, right leg, exhale, breath. Left knee points to the left. Right leg is nice and long. Heart guiding towards right big toe. We're going back the way we came, yogis. So re-extend your left leg to the back of the mat. Plant the right hand. Rotate on your ankles. Fall and start. Lift the left hand up. Lower left hand down. Sweep right leg to sky. Three leg dog. Inhale. Heel to butt, knee to nose, step right foot forward. Arrowhead on the inhale. Extended arrowhead, hook the thumbs, lengthen, reach forward, pull thumbs apart. Inhale, reach up, rise up, crescent lunge. Now hands on hips, square pelvis, belly button in, tailbone drawn down to front heel, long and strong in back thigh muscles. Sweep the hands back behind you, interlace the fingers. Ground the back foot 45 degree angle. Heart lifts to the sky, right shoulder, right knee, chin to chest, humble warrior, knuckles to sky.
release your hands, frame your front foot, left hand earth, ball of the left foot on the mat, right hand sky, rotating around to clear, pat to looping back, reaching back. Plant right hand, top of mat, step right foot back, high plank, low plank, inhale, up dog, exhale, roll over toes, downward facing dog, good job. Left leg to sky, inhale, yawn, hip open, flip dog, Yogi's choice, lift forward, lower left hand, left hand leg to sky, inhale, left knee to left elbow, exhale, inhale, lift. Left knee to right elbow, and then shoot the foot through, fallen star, right hand sky. Maneuver the buttocks down, sit down. Right hand reaches for right foot, bends right knee, seated tree, square pelvis for left big toe. Lift up, reach up, and roll down. Left foot into our tree. Re-extend your right leg to the back of the mat, plant the left hand, rotate the ankles, lift the pelvis, reach up, there's your fallen star. Lower right hand, scoop left foot into sky, inhale. Feel the butt knee to nose, step through, arrow, reach back, squeeze shoulder blades. Hook the opposite thumbs, pull them apart, extend it out ahead. Crescent lunge, rise up, reach up, look forward. Back foot, 45 degree angle. Sweep the hands back behind you. Whatever feels unusual with your grip, find that. Proud chest, heart to sky. Left shoulder, left knee, chin to chest, humble warrior. Unravel the hands, right hand earth. Pivot onto ball of left foot, left hand sky. Cleopatra, look back, reach back. Lower left hand, left foot, high plank, low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, roll over the toes. Downward facing dog, good job. Lift the heels, bend the knees, hop forward, chair. Sit down into your seat, look forward. Fold. Halfway lift, inhale, plant the hands, high plank, jump back, low plank, inhale, up dog, exhale, roll over toes, downward facing dog. Three leg dog, right leg sky, inhale, heel the butt, knee to nose, step forward, crescent lunge, rise up, widen your stance for stability, cactus the arms, five dips of the left knee to the earth, five, Four, three, two, and one. Crescent lunge, arms up, left hand back, right hand forward, twist open to the left. Back to center and into the opposite direction. Right hand back, left hand forward, right hand back thigh, left hand sky, inhale. Left elbow to right thigh, palms touch, prayer twist to the right. Ground the front heel, long and strong in back leg. Maybe open your prayer. Close the prayer. Crescent lunge, rise up. Warrior two, open up. Back foot, parallel back edge of mat, hands on hips. Walk front foot to an alignment that feels good in your body. Front foot forward. Hips down, energy grounding, hips up, energy lifting, arms open up, shoulders soften away from the ears, flip right hand to sky, reverse warrior, inhale, right elbow to right thigh, left arm reaches overhead, extended, side angle, reach for something precious at the front of your room, left hand onto your left hip, half moon, step forward, take your block with you, place it to the right side, of your pinky toe, press the right fingertips into the block, left leg lifts parallel with the earth, left hand peels up to the sky. Now step back into uh, warrior two, extend your front legs, we're creating a triangle shape, right hand forward, right hand, right shin, 
left hand to the sky, you look at your top thumb, you look at the wall, or you look down at your right foot, whatever works for your neck. And then windmill the left hand down. Let's take our wide leg fold one more time. Halfway lift in high. And a big fold there. Exhale breath. Nice little reset here. Variations with your arms are welcome. Halfway lift, inhale, lunge into your left knee at the back of your mat, exhale, breath, and then come forward into your front foot. I'd like you to find your block now to the left side of your pinky toe, uh, your front big toe, and let's lift up into a revolved half moon, right hand sky, left leg lifts. Now we're going to step that left foot to the back of your mat and come back into our skandhasana, back knee. And do this two more times. Front foot forward, 12 o'clock. Block left side of the big toe. Right hand sky, rotate to the right. And we've got two. And then the last one. Left hand on that block. Rotate to the right. Lift that back leg. Back to Skandasana. Warrior two. Flip it and reverse. Windmill the hands. Vinyasa. Flush that out. Step back. High plank. Low plank. Inhale. Up dog. Roll over toes. Downward facing dog. Nice work. Left leg sky. Inhale breath. Heel to butt. Knee to nose. Step through. Crescent lunge. Rise up. Cactus your arms and widen your stance. Dip your right knee towards the earth and lift it up. Five, four, three, two, and final one. Arms up, reach up, right hand back, left hand forward. So we twist around in one direction and then we'll come forward up to the sky and we'll go back around the opposite direction. Left hand back for right thigh, right hand to sky, prayer twist, right elbow to left outer thigh, left palm to touch with the right, more weight in that front foot, more length in the back leg, open the prayer if that serves you, close the prayer, crescent lunge, rise up and then slice the air open to warrior two, where I encourage you to do the dance, find the shape, <coughs> Settling into the grounding effects through the pelvis and down and the uplifting effects from the pelvis to the crown of your head. Flip it in reverse. Inhale, left elbow, right thigh. Right arm reaches overhead towards the front of the room. Long and strong through that diagonal from your pinky toe of right foot through to right fingertips. Half moon, right hand, right hip. Back foot scooches in. The block's already left side pinky toe. So we can press the left fingertips into it. Right leg reaches back behind us. Right arm lifts to sky. Three, two, and one. Step back to warrior two. Flip it in reverse so the front leg lengthens and we find our way into triangles. So really embody the three triangles within our body. Let them feel super geometric and foundational empowering and wonderful. Lower right hand down, bring left toes with you. Halfway lift, inhale, and then deep fold, exhale, breath. Halfway lift, inhale. Lunge into our right knee at the back of the mat. Skandhasana. And then come forward into our left foot. So it's a rotation of the front foot. Take our block to right side of big toe. Right hand earth, revolved half moon, lift the left hand and look to the left, right leg lifts behind you. And then you step back and you swing back into our skandhasana and we do it three more times. Come forward, right hand block, uh, step into the left foot, rotate head to the left, lift the right leg behind us. Two more times, coming into skandhasana. Forward into left foot, right hand earth, rotate, lift. And then step back, final time. 
Nice, front foot forward, and we rotate, we lift, and we extend. Good job. And then step back to Skandasana. Warrior two into front foot. Flip it and reverse, inhale, windmill the hands, get the block out of the way. High plank, low plank. Inhale, up dog, and roll over the toes. Downward facing dog. How about an extended child's pose? Lower to the knees. Big toes touch. Hips back to heels. Knees out wide. Maybe the forehead rests on the block. Hmm. Take a few moments. Take a few wonderful deep breaths. And perhaps here you can take a moment and cast the memory back to 40 minutes ago when we started class. How did that child's pose feel? Perhaps what feels different about this one? Is there a little more juiciness, rhythm in the body, a bit more softness and uh, extension? All these sorts of attributes in our body. Nice work. Block out of the way. Let's come into our tabletop position. Bird dog. Take your right hand out in front of you. Reach it forward and then extend the left leg long behind you. Reach through the fingertips and the toe tips and then bend the knee and the elbow and tap them under the body. Dome the back. Inhale, reach and extend and then exhale. Tap and hold. Three. Extension is the inhale, contraction is the exhale, two, inhale length, exhale, contract, and then last one, reach and extend, and exhale, contract. Now, as you go out long this time, I'd get you to hold and practice the balance, or bend the knee behind you, reach back with the hand, touch the foot, open the heart forward, press away from the earth through the left hand, and then come back through tabletop, and take a cow and a cat, And then as we find our way into the opposite side, so left hand forward, reach it forward, reach the right leg back behind you. Contraction is the exhale, dome the back, belly button in, inhale, expand, exhale, contract three, inhale, expand, exhale, contract two, inhale, expand, exhale, contract one, inhale, expand, hold, test the balance or reach the foot back, hand back for the foot, press away from the earth. Return to tabletop, a cow and a cat, downward facing dog, and meet me there. Lift the heels, bend the knees, look forward, hop forward, chair pose, Utkatasana, sitting into the seat. Eagle pose, lift the right leg, wrap it over the left, full cross of the leg behind the left, or toe tap the right toes to the left. So full wrap or support. Square the pelvis, draw the belly button in, take the right arm forward, cross the left elbow over top, bind up forearms, lift the elbows to shoulder height, press the forearms forward and sit deep into your chair for three, four, two. Now, warrior three variation with our eagle arms. So uncross the legs, sweep the legs back and find the extension of the right leg behind you. Forearms parallel with the earth. Standing splits, hands on the mat, lift the back leg to start. Five breaths here. You could rotate to your wall if you're at home and maybe find your handstand hops, right leg towards the sky, left heel to butt, using the wall as that tiny little bit of support. And then find your way into a fold at the top of the mat. Halfway lift, inhale, and we'll take a big fold now. Peace fingers around big toes, seal up grip with the thumbs. Halfway lift, inhale, bend the elbows, exhale, breath, chin to chest. Yeah, I can feel the vibrancy of this vinyasa. It's really nice on this quite humid day here. 
I'm blocking the blockages. I'm sticking the stickiness. Release the toes. Inhale up to sky. Heart center hands. Big toes touch and then sweep into the chair. Sitting down into our seat. Okay, eagle wrap. Left leg over right. Full cross of the leg behind the right if you can. Squaring the pelvis. Left arm forward first. Right arm second. Lifting the elbows to shoulder height, sitting deep into our seat for three, two, good job. All right, warrior three variation with eagle arms, move slowly, yeah, left leg back behind you, whoa, there's lots of wobbles here on my side, Whew, focus, connect with navel center, connect with the core, left leg roll behind me, fingertips forward, holding three, Two, standing splits on the one. Feel free to hold here with the left leg lifted behind you. Or perhaps you rotate to the wall. You take a moment, press away from the earth. So the left leg lifts and the right heel draws to the buttock. It's a nice little hold. And then make your way into a fold at the top of the mat. Take the backs of the hands under the soles of the feet and tickle for the wrists with the toes. Spread the fingers wide and draw the chin to chest as you fold. Exhale, release. Halfway lift, inhale and then fold, exhale, breath. Up to sky, inhale, arms touch. Come back to our heart center and reconnect, ujjayi breath. Reconnect with our intentions, take a moment here. And tree pose, root down through the left side of your body, left foot, bring the right knee in towards you, give it a lovely big squeeze. Open knee out wide, catch right foot, and draw it high up the left leg. Press the foot into the thigh, thigh into the foot, Elbows wide, proud chest, palms touch, holding for 10. And I'm going to stop counting now. You're just going to hold, breathe, and focus with your awareness forward. Three. Two. Bring the knee forward, take the hands up, single leg Tadasana, into our dancer's pose. Right heel to right buttock, right hand catches for right foot, knees to touch, then reach the left hand forward and press the foot into the hand behind you. you get some push-pull through the left fingertips forward and the right top of foot behind you, backwards, three. And the softness in the left knee, but grounded through the left foot, two. Bring the knee forward, sweep up, reach up, rise up, and then step down into our mountain and to our Samashtiti, hands at heart, and let go of whatever happened on that side. Let's just go through the other side. Root down through the right foot, bring the left knee in, give it a lovely big squeeze. Open the knee out wide, touch the foot with the left hand, and press the foot into the thigh, and then hands to heart space. You know what to do from here. Nice, head to dancers when you're ready, shift the knee forward, reach the hands up, and then draw heel to butt, left hand inside the left foot, reach the right hand forward. So as you reach forward with the right hand, press the left foot back behind you, push, pull, and find something to stare at, focus out on the horizon for three, for two, and for one, shift the knee forward, stand super tall, Whew. and then come through our heart center.
upwards salute, inhale. Return to the earth, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. Step back to high plank. If it's a vinyasa, I'll see you through that. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale breath. Nice work. Let's release all that. Right leg sky, inhale, yawn hip. And if it's a flip dog, I'll meet you there. Reach, lift the belly button to sky. Lower right hand, sweep through for fallen star to the left. Reach the left hand to sky. And then half pigeon, lower left hand down, slide right knee across the mat. Find the comfortable angle of your front shin and then let's peek over left shoulder and lengthen the left leg down the mat. Feel free to place a prop under the right hip if it feels more supportive there. As you lift your chest and look forward, heart forward, and then let's start to fold forward and lower forehead down onto the earth if it's available or place your block underneath your forehead. Bring the earth to you. Whew, that was vibrant. That was a free flow for me too. I didn't plan that. There was no class schedule. There was whatever came up. And I always teach within a formula. I have a certain way of teaching. I have a certain way of describing. It feels good in my body and that's how I like to, to teach. It felt nice today just to flow without the direction of a sequence, a plan. And stay for another five, four, three. Two. Yeah, nice work. And last one. Lift your chest, slide block out of the way. Step back into down dog, and I'll meet you there. Let's do that on the other side. So optional, left leg sky, three leg dog, your hip, lift dog, land, reach, extend, reach forward, lower left hand down through to forward and start as you rotate around, just with the foot through to the right, right hand to sky. And then set up your half pigeon. Lower right hand, sweep left knee to left wrist. Find the comfortable angle, find the shape. Explore this sensations that come up in this pretty iconic pose. And then as you start to lower down to forearms, take a moment and find the prop underneath your forehead. You feel super long and strong in that back leg, grounded through your toenails. And explore into the sensations in the left buttock, left hip. Holding for another five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Now slide the block forward out of the way. Lift up the chest, but this time sit down onto your left hip. Baddha Konasana. So swing the right leg forward, shift to the buttock, and then bring soles of feet to touch. Open the knees out wide, lift the chest, and then fold down forward with the chest, chin to chest as well. your chest, sweep the hands outside the right, outside of the thighs, close the knees like a book and come onto your big toes and lean back, hold the backs of your thighs, so just a little bit of core here just to make a bit of sensation before we head down onto our backs. So leaning back, uh, if you want to find shins parallel with the earth you can, but I think big toes on the mat, part forward, long through the back of the neck, three, two, and one hands beside your hips and then slide down onto your back bring the right knee in towards you give it a squeeze supine twist left hand draws the knee across the body right hand reaches out to the right roll the head to the right look to the right 
and hold for three, for two, and for one. Come back through your center, draw the right knee into one last time, and then slide the leg down your mat and do the left leg now. Bring it in, right hand's the navigator, rotate the head to the left, left arm out long. Bring the left knee back to center. And I did say the right knee wouldn't come back towards us, but let's do it for one last time. Both knees in. Happy baby. Reach for pinky toe edges of the feet. Soles of the feet to the ceiling. Heels to the buttocks. Sweep the hands out wide. Catch the shins. Squeeze into a little bit of you, pull it up to the knees, hug, 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 hug. And then extend the legs out into your Shavasana. Take up as much room as you wish. We'll go a little quiet now, so know that I'm still here. So I can just settle in for a few moments. If you're ready to move on with your day, feel free to come with me. Otherwise, you could stay a little longer by pausing the video. Wiggle fingers, wiggle toes, roll wrists, roll ankles, arms overhead, lengthen everything out, point through the toes, roll onto your favorite hip in a fetal position, and bathe yourself in love and gratitude here. Thank yourself for showing up and setting aside these 60 valuable minutes in your day to do something wonderful for your, for your body. Coordinate with your breath. Set yourself up for an amazing rest of your day. Swing yourself up into your comfortable seat. 
Place your hands at your heart space. Bring the chin towards the chest. Loka summer stars with you. One, two. May all beings everywhere be happy and free. Greet this wonderful, incredible, amazing version of yourself in the remainder of your day. The Hindi word. Namaste. Thanks very much. Bye for now. I hope you subscribe, share with your friends, like the videos, watch the videos, watch other videos. Um, I'm really enjoying making them and I'm loving seeing so many of you come back. So thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye.